Okay. Well, anyways, climb up here. And... We are now... I think this is the f fourth floor. Okay. Crystal switch. I could probably hit that with a bomb from up there. Yes. So that's what I'm going to do. You gotta use strategery here. Okay. Oop. Do that. In fact, I think you you do need to use the bomb because if you hit it with the sword, it just... The timing won't work. Like, you'll use up too much time trying to climb up and whatnot. I think. Okay, now this room... Let's go up here. Pretty sure there's a gold sculpture in this room as well. I might be making that up, but... Let's... Press on this. Get to that treasure chest. Want to be very careful here. Try not to fall. Oh wow, that was easy. And now, we're gonna get a really cool item here. This is... The Megaton Hammer. It's a very, very awesome weapon. Deals a lot of damage. And it's actually required here, first off. So let's... Let's equip it. Uh, you can go... I'm not gonna be using my arrows that much, so go here. And on top screen it says it's a massive hammer, so heavy it must be held with both hands. It can crush all kinds of things with one mighty swing. Yup, this is the legendary hammer that the Gorons have talked about. At least, Darunia's son and Darunia. What are you? Are you having trouble with something? No, I'm not having trouble with anything. Leave me alone. Okay, so now what we do with this, swing the hammer. So now we're over here and we can hit these pillars and it somehow causes them to shrink. Don't ask me how that part works. I don't know. Oh, hello, you. Okay. I'm gonna want to get rid of these fire keys first. That's one of them. And that's the other one. So now... What we can do with this hammer... Swing it down. That's a really cool effect. I like that a lot. Make your own little staircase like that. I believe we can actually pick up one of these. And there's a switch down here that we need to weigh down. Yeah. Um, drop it down. Good. Good, good. And another one of these. The hammer, very handy. Oh, I... Okay. I thought for some reason that was like a gold sculpture over there on the wall that I just missed. But no, it's just that. The switch looks rusted. Why, yes, it is rusted. Also... You are rude! At least I can get back up here easily. Okay, where is that jerk? I don't know. But, um... We can hit that down. And that's gonna bring that pillar back down to that room where Darunia was in. But I don't want to do anything with that just yet. Right over here... See this block that has the... Um, that requires the Song of Time? Let's play it. Nope. There you go. I remember how to play songs. It's gonna cause that to go over there. That might have been what Navi was flying towards earlier. No? Okay then. Can I make this jump? Yes, barely. You know what, let's, let's hit this with style. With a jump attack. Okay, where is that Goron? Down here? Yes, so what's your tip? Door is in behind the statue at the entrance to this temple. 
If the Goron special crop won't work on it, do you have anything stronger? I have the hammer. And now, this is another key. Okay, now let's just go back up here and drop down that room where we dropped the pillar. Because... Boom. I don't think we take fall damage from this fall. For some reason. Yeah, we we don't. Can we get up there? No? You know what? Just to make sure, I want to check if there's anything else over here. Because you never know. There might be something. No, is it just the pots with the fairy? Yeah, two fairies. Wow. That's neat. Yeah, there's more to this temple. To this dungeon. Okay, so down here. That's not the door I want to go through. Down here. If we hit this with the hammer. Boom, we can clear it. And we have a small key to open this up with, so... Yay. Enemies here. Get out of my face. Enemies everywhere. Prepare to taste the wrath of my blade. Oh, come on. Oh, we actually did need to defeat all the enemies in this room. Cool. Okay, next up. Okay, then. Oh, Navi can't identify what these are. These are just spinning floor tiles. Ooh, this enemy here. This is a like-like. Okay, so like-likes are interesting. They can swallow you up, and they can eat your shield or your Goron or Zora tunic because yeah if you're wearing the Kokiri tunic you don't need to worry about that but like things that you can buy like the high the Hylian shield or the Goron tunic and the Zora tunic the like like will eat those up and if it swallows you up and eats those up you're gonna need to defeat it fast before it I guess digest them but wow only one hit from the the Goron Sword is enough to take care of those. So, that's cool. So that's another Gold Sculpture. I think that's our fourth one? Okay, what are you doing here? Where are you? There you are. Um, don't run. Okay, you're gonna run that way. And let's just do the same old song and dance again. Okay. Yeah, again, the big Oran Sword makes this a whole lot easier. Wow. That was easy. And so was that. Oh. It's gonna make... Another treasure chest of here. Is this a key? Maybe. I feel like it is. No, it's just bombs. Okay, I think... I think there's actually no more keys here. I mean, there's this key, but... Yeah. Actually, I think this is the last gore on here. Yeah, I see. Big, br uh, big brother Daruni asked you to rescue me. I owe you big time. Please help, big brother. Ah, uh, that's what I'm here to do. Hey, okay, let's open up this chest. This fancy looking one. And just like before in the forest temple, this is going to have the big key, the boss key, the boss key. Okay. And now, we can go fight the boss, but there is just one more area here in the fire temple that I haven't been to. 
it's over here. Right over here. This completely skipped my mind the first time, but... Right over here, there's this block that requires you to play the Song of Time. So let's quickly do that. And I believe this is actually going to lead us to the last gold Skullchala if I haven't gotten all of them. Because I believe we've only gotten four of them. So, um, yeah. What, what is over here? Yeah. There's the last gold Skullchala. Okay. Please? There. And let's just get this. Stop. You done? Thank you. And that is. That should be all the gold sculptures. Let's take a look here. Yep. Map says that we got all of them. Actually, um. Yeah, that's everything. We're good. Just want to make sure. So, now that that's done, we can actually fight the boss now. And we're well equipped to fight the boss. So, let's go see how um, Darunia is doing as well. Okay. And we already struck down that pillar. You know what? Fight me! Just in case you drop extra hearts, because I am two hearts away from full health. Eh, you're all the way over there. I'm not gonna bother. Eh, we're good anyways. We're good. Jump one. And a jumpity jump. Okay. Let's go in. The Subterranean Lava Dragon, Volvagia. With the same boss music that King Dodongo had. I don't know why those two have a special boss track, but yeah, this is the boss of the Fire Temple. So, Volvagia. Volvagia is going to show up in one of these nine holes, and when it does, hit it with your hammer. And then, you can just swing your sword at it. And then once that's done, Volvagia is going to fly around. What do you have to say, Nabby? Is the boss of Fire Temple revived by the evil, evil king? I don't know its weak point. Well, I do. So it's going to fly around and then start breathing fire at you. Luckily, you can just... Its fire is easy to attack or avoid. And then, Volvagi is going to dive down again. And then we repeat that same old song and dance. At least for now. Where are you? There you are. Sometimes Volvagi can actually fake you out as well. Okay, let's do that. Jump attack. Okay, are you going to do your rock slide attack? Um... It looks like it. So, Volvagi is going to fly all the way up there, and it's going to cause rocks to fall. I mean, you can avoid it by just going down here, because this is a climbable uh, wall. But, eh, they're not that difficult to avoid. Okay, now I think you're just going to... I think you're going to start faking me out. Yeah, there you are. Okay, do that. And let's um, hit you again with the hammer. I probably could have just used a big Goron sword here, but you know what? 
we're taking down the dragon with the legendary hammer. We're reliving the Goron legend here. I wonder, can you like... Can you hit Volvagia while it's flying? I don't think you can. Maybe. Where am I? Okay, just wanna make sure I have my bearing straight. Okay, let's get my hammer ready. Which hole are you gonna show up out of? This one? No. Nope. And kaboom! Oh! I gave you a chance to hit me. Let's try it again. And finish you off. There we go. Let's pick up this next heart container from defeating the boss. Now we have a total of 14 hearts. Now, uh, Volvagia. It, Volvagia is an interesting enemy. Not because of the game, but in the dubiously canon Ocarina of Time manga, Volvagia was actually a dragon that Link freed as a kid so in the manga Link had to essentially put Volvagia out of his misery when he became evil and I always thought that was interesting now again the manga is it loosely follows the story of Ocarina of Time like there are things like that Volvagia backstory that are most likely not canon but still it's interesting anyways Let's go in. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the Wild Darunia, turned out to be the Great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the Fire Spirits. And my friendship. We got the fire medallion, and Darunia has now awakened as the Sage of Fire. Don't forget. Now you and I are true brothers. And with that done, I'm gonna end off here. Thank y'all so much for watching, and see y'all next time for some more on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, where we're probably just gonna do stuff with our hammer now. But yeah, see y'all for that. Later.